Hello, ridiculously happy people. Um, I'm in uh, the studio right now. Sorry. <laughs> I'm in the studio right now. Um, Kendra and I are making some updates, painting the doors black, which um, I'm not the best painter in the world. So it's been an experience so far. Um, and I remembered that I needed to take a bit of a break to do this. <laughs> This Facebook Live, and it's probably one of my favorite Facebook Lives this year so far. Not that I've done a whole lot of them, but I think that I have some important stuff that I can really share with you guys today. Um, so what I wanted to talk about was holiday gifting um, for the holiday season, because I've been gifting photography to my family for a couple seasons now, and I have to say that it seems to be the thing that they love the most. Um, and I have some stories along those lines, which, I, which I'm going to share with you guys um, as we move through this presentation. Um, now, I should tell you, I'm sorry, the sound quality in this <laughs> Facebook Live is not going to be great. I forgot my good microphone today. Um, what can you do? Um, but in the slides for this live, I have included some tidbits for you. So you can sort of learn who these particular gifts might be best for and what the price range is from, um, sizes and stuff like that. So if you have any questions, post them in the comments um, and I will be sure to get back to you with the answers. So we're gonna start with gallery canvas wraps. Um, these are super popular and classic. Um, they're really easy to hang. So gallery canvas wraps are outrageously light. Um, and the people who would like these the most tend to be um, sort of the younger generation, maybe young adults who are out on their own for the first time. Um, oh, thanks, Nicole. <laughs> um, your siblings, like, 20, 30 year old siblings, uh, people like that. Uh, canvases, you might not realize because people tend to think when you think of canvases that they're huge um, and that they would fill an entire wall. You can do teeny tiny canvases as well. So this one that I'm showing you right now isn't teeny tiny. It's actually 10 by 10. Um, and I can go as small as five by seven. And they sit really nicely on a shelf um, or you can print them large. This one obviously is a collage. So the zoo family did a collage for both of their sons. So a canvas would go in each room and those boys can take those prints with them when they move eventually. So this, this is pretty much what inspired this Facebook Live and this whole presentation. Um, as I said, I've been giving photography to my family for a couple of years now, and these are two pieces that I gave my dad. So the bottom photo of the four cows, these are my dad's girls, as we call them. Um, I took this photo a few years ago, and two Christmases ago, I gave him this canvas. And then last Christmas, I gave him the top canvas which is a photo that my friend Kendra took of me with my dad's girls. Um, and so my dad is notoriously awful to gift. He doesn't really need anything. And if you ask him what he needs, he'll probably just say, uh, I don't really need anything. <laughs> um, usually I have resorted to giving him wine or <laughs> giving him gift certificates for wine or giving him um, subscriptions for wine and finally I gave him these two canvases and I have to say that when he opened them he held on to them and just went whoa and he just loved them and the way that my family does Christmas is we go in a circle each person opens one gift at a time and then we keep going and I swear we would go around the circle 10 times and he'd just sit there staring at the canvas the entire time we're going around the circle. Um, so these two prints are both hanging um, in the dining room now. I don't know about you guys, but I think they look gosh darn fabulous. Okay, how about framed prints? 
framed prints tend to be a little bit more appropriate for um, the old-fashioned folks in your life. I recommend them for grandparents and parents, obviously. Um, your grandparents and parents will absolutely love these. Um, framed prints you can get to hang on the wall. Generally, I encourage some sort of consultation with your photographer when you're choosing where you want to hang them, but I suspect that if you're gifting these to grandparents, you're expecting that they're going to put them on a table or on a shelf somewhere, uh, which is perfectly acceptable. Uh, when you're doing those sizes, you probably want to stick to about 8 by 10, 8 by 12, or smaller. So you could do 4 by 6, uh, 5 by 7, 8 by 10. This is one of my favorite framed prints. I'm just showing you because I love it. <laughs> um, this is a custom framed print. So this was done um, by Gallery De Boer in Owen Sound. Uh, we took the photo in and chose the frame to go with the photo. And you might not realize, but there is actually glass on this photo. So if you look at the TV in the background, you can see the reflection from the windows on the TV. and if you can't tell from the lighting in this room, there's actually more sunlight in the room with the photo in it, and there's no glare on the photo. That's because we chose glare-free glass for this photo, so something that um, working with a photographer can really help you with. Okay, acrylic blocks. This is my niece, so you know. This is Audrey. Um, I'm finding that acrylic blocks are really fantastic for practically anyone on your gift list. Um, you can do acrylic prints up to basically any size, like 40 by 60. They're really shiny uh, and you might um, you might have seen them in a gallery. I know there are a couple in our local galleries. They're really shiny and really simple. Um, the smaller sizes though I find are fantastic for putting on a shelf like you can see in this photo. Now I wanted to show you sort of what the acrylic prints are like. So here's that acrylic print. See how reflective they are? And the really cool thing is when you start to move the print, you sort of get a 3D view of the photo. Isn't that neat? They're really heavy too. So they're great for your spouse, for putting in your spouse's office, um, they make a really nice and personal and beautiful and adorable little paperweight. Okay, where did I leave off? Oh, perfect. So this is a gift that we gave my grandpa this year. Um, this is obviously me with my dad's girls again, but here's the interesting part of it. Um, I am my grandpa's only grandchild who has their own herd of Hereford cattle, which says something because my grandpa had Hereford cattle, his dad had Hereford cattle, and when he retired, um, they, they sold all of the cattle. And my dad's goal when he bought his farm um, was to eventually buy back all of the bloodlines that my grandpa and his dad had and he has managed to do that over the years. Um, so here is a photo of my grandpa's only grandchild who has cattle along with some of the cattle that descended from his um, family bloodlines. Okay, I can see that Nicole sent me a question. To hit them with. Yes, Nicole, you, you can hit your family with the acrylic prints. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not taking any responsibility for that if you do it. <laughs> okay, albums. <laughs> um, albums are great for parents, grandparents, and spouses. If you do a session with your extended family, um, albums are also great if you want to gift all of your family um, the same thing. So. As you can see from this album, this is Kate and Danny's proposal album. Your albums are completely customizable. So you pick the photos that go into them and you can put text in them or put no text in them. But the reason that I find them so good for parents and grandparents and spouses is because this is an opportunity to use 
as many of the photos as you'd like. So if you're looking at your family photos from the past year and you're thinking, I really have no idea which ones to give, there's some really sweet ones in there, um, you can just go ahead and gift all of them. Um, and I find it's particularly good for extended family, for example, because when you have a bunch of photos of multiple grandkids, you can sort of mix and match so that you're making the book sort of a little bit more balanced, a little bit more fair, um, but including photos of all of the faces that your parents love. All right, <clears throat> holiday cards. This seems to have gone a little bit out of style, holiday cards. And by the way, my friend Kendra just walked into the studio, so say hello, Kendra. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so I get to ask Kendra, holiday cards, do you feel like people think they've gone out of style? Yeah. Yeah. So people seem to think that holiday cards have gone out of style, but guess what? When you receive a card, do you not absolutely love it? Like if someone sends you a handwritten note in the mail and you open it, are you not like super excited? I have one sitting at home right now that I'm super excited to open and I'm just, I'm like waiting until I have a moment to open it because I really want to enjoy it. The other thing is, when was the last time that you were at a family member's house or a friend's house and you saw their fridge just covered in photos of family? So for say the dates and invitations, thank you cards from weddings, um, birth announcements, um, Christmas cards, stuff like that. All the time. I see it constantly. And those cards will stay on that fridge for 10 years or until they move. <laughs> but the point is people still love Christmas cards. So I really just think that people should do Christmas cards more often. The especially good thing about this is it's an easy and really cost-effective gift to give someone who lives overseas um, or who lives at a distance who you're not going to see in person or who you have an agreement that you don't give gifts to each other. Christmas cards make an excellent alternative to actually shipping them an outrageous gift. Um, I love this card. I'm going to show you a bit of a close-up. Sweet, sweet family. Look at how cute they are. And then, oh, <laughs> the kids showing their personalities. Um, the reason that we did this is because at this shoot, this is what, oh, we're, this young lady discovered that she had a tongue. <laughs> so that's why we went ahead with that photo. Okay, what else do we have? Calendars. Calendars are awesome. I did not know this. I was giving this presentation uh, a couple weeks ago to my BNI chapter and someone stood up after the presentation and commented, actually two people stood up and commented on how they had calendars that people had given them decades ago and that they have held on to, which I think is crazy, but also kind of cool. <laughs> Um, so calendars are great for basically anyone in your life, but obviously grandparents, adult children, your spouse with an office. Um, this again is my niece Audrey with her mother. <laughs> I filled this calendar with a whole bunch of adorable photos of Audrey and my brother and his wife. And I'll let you see what it looks like. You can sort of get an idea of how big these things are, but I'll laugh. Uh, show you on the camera. It's not a small calendar, <laughs> but they're really well designed and also super thick pages. Um, and oh, it's just so cute. So you can give calendars to your family um, for the calendar year, so for 2020, for example, or you could give them a calendar um, that starts, for example, in November. So <clears throat> the calendar I just showed you on video started in November rather than in January. Um, but yeah, they're super cute. One of the things that I've also done for clients with calendars is I might go through and mark on the calendar important dates, like birth dates or anniversaries and fun stuff like that before I give it to them. Okay, gift cards. If you are really struggling for what to get your mom um, <clears throat> or your best 
single parent friend for Christmas, I would highly recommend photography, um, family photography specifically. I would hazard a guess that your mother or your mother-in-law has been harassing you for years to finally do a family photo because it's just been decades and yeah, give them photography. The really cool thing about gift cards is generally, with a photographer like myself, at the very least, you can decide how much you are putting on that gift card. So discuss with the photographer what you would like to include or what would be the best option for you to include and then just do that. Okay, D hello. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you guys knew, but I also have an online print shop. I will include a link in the description of the video that gets posted of this live um, after I wrap it up here. Um, but it is just full of landscapes, local landscapes. There's a lot of photos from Collingwood and the Owen Sound area in there, as well as obviously, as you can tell, birds. <laughs> so. These are particularly good for coworkers, clients, or employees, um, people that you know you might not want to give a photo of your family to, um, but who might appreciate a nice local gift for the holidays. Um, so I'll include that link. Oh, here's an example of one of my prints that is currently hanging in my studio. Okay, so for anyone who is still watching, um, if you have any questions, remember to post them <laughs> in the comments. Um, Nicole has asked <laughs> if she can not just hit her family with the acrylic blocks, but specifically the spouse. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, Nicole, you can go ahead and hit Robbie with an acrylic, acrylic block. <laughs> um, I don't think he'll like it very much though, so. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell them that I said you could do that. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just send me a direct message or post in the comments and I will get back to you on that. I will include the link for the print shop. Um, and good luck with the holiday gifting. I don't know where you guys are at, but I'm pretty much done. I'm wildly impressed with myself. <laughs> all right, so I will see all of you again soon and I hope that you have a fantastic week.